It has been 20 years since the Second World War ended with the failure of the Allied invasion of Normandy. A triumphant Hitler declared victory over Europe and the British Empire. The United States withdrew from the conflict, listening to those like Charles Lindbergh, who had argued against a war with Germany. In the East, only the Russians fought on in a bitter guerrilla war. American efforts turned to retribution for Pearl Harbor. That came in the summer of 1945 with victory over Japan. By then, American General Eisenhower had returned from Europe to the United States and a humiliating retirement. In 1947, King Edward and Queen Wallace assumed the British throne. Winston Churchill, who had barely escaped with his life after Normandy, died in exile in Canada in May 1953. In the years after the war, country after country of the old Europe had become part of the vast Nazi empire of Germania. The Führer's architect, Albert Speer, built a monument to the Thousand Year Reich. Germania's capital, Berlin, became a Nazi showplace. The SS became a peacetime police force, patrolling clean and orderly streets. As the 50s came to a close, Hitler was able to put a more civilized face on the Greater Reich. But news continued to be tightly controlled. The 60s began with the war with the Soviet Union still dragging on. Hitler desperately needed to conclude a formal peace with the United States and forge an alliance against the Russians, still led by the 85-year-old Joseph Stalin. Hitler saw signs for hope in late 1960 with the election of a new president of the United States. The Führer believed with President Joseph Kennedy Sr. in office, at last there was someone with whom a deal could be struck. Now, in 1964, for the first time in 20 years, Germania's borders are opening to the Americans. The world press has been invited to cover the Führer's birthday celebration on April 20th. There are rumors that President Kennedy will attend a Germanian-American summit conference. An alliance with America would assure Germania's invulnerability. But there are other more persistent rumors that could threaten Hitler's plans. There were stories that something terrible happened in Germany during the war. That the official Nazi story that Jews and other minorities had been relocated to the East wasn't true. There are also rumors that in the Greater Reich, terrible things are still happening. Television, radio and newspapers are all controlled by the powerful Ministry of Information. Nobody in the New Berlin dares to ask awkward questions.
Yes. <clears throat> March. Good morning, March. There's a body in the park by the lake, about 500 meters from the main road. Meet Eisler there. It's Sunday. My son's here. I know it's Sunday, but you're on standby and there's no one else. All right. is anticipating a complete collapse of remaining Russian military forces within a month. But the big news today is the preparation for the Fuhrer's 75th birthday in four days' time. Papa, do you think we could visit America soon? Why? Well, I'd like to spend more time with you, really. I'd like that, too. Maybe you should ask your mother when you go home nicely. I have, but she already said yes. Did she? No, but she should have. Come and help me. my Führer, bequeathed to me by the Lord, protect and preserve me as long as I live, that has rescued Germany from Feely. deepest. do you remember you used to say grace when your mother and I were together? No. Want to try it? Okay. Um, for what we are about to receive, for what we are about to receive. May the Lord make us truly thankful. May the Lord make us truly thankful. Amen. Amen. an SS cadet from the Sepp Dietrich Academy on this morning run. Here is his statement. Thank you, sir. Morning, Dr. Eisler. Well, good morning, Major. Where is Jaeger? I wish I knew. The great partnership you fellas have. Enjoying the weather? It was a lot colder at Stalingrad. Give me a close-up of the face. Well, he obviously wasn't out running. An old amputation, rather well done. Very good indeed. I'm very happy for him. Did he drown? Well, they pulled him out of the lake, but ask me after the autopsy. Time of death? There's early rigor, but uh, the water is very cold. It's difficult to tell. Ask, ask me, me after, after the, the autopsy. autopsy. Where did you find him? In the water, just behind the rock.
Nice start for a Sunday. Heil Hitler! Greater Reich Tourism welcomes you to Tempelhof International Airport. I am Helga Schroeder, your guide. On behalf of the Ministry of Culture and Education, I would like to welcome you, journalists from the Americas, to Berlin, capital of the Greater German Reich. We hope you will have a pleasant stay with us. I used to cover Berlin for Remember CBS Berlin, before the war. A city of great I never thought I'd ever get back. A city of culture, where past and Neither did I. Side by side. Reich Tourism will handle any and all of your needs while you are here. You've and been here before? I was born be here. I left when I was little. My mother was German. She met my father before the war. McGuire. I knew a Paul McGuire here, diplomat. He was my father. You are the first American You're kidding. to visit us since the war ended. Germania is I'm Walter Elliott, CBS. I know who you are. We see no reason why the stars and stripes the should not fly in side peace by side and side It is the wish of the Fuhrer that relations between our, our countries should prosper and develop. We have nothing to hide and have many achievements we wish to share with you. Please, do not lose your press accreditation. Without it, you will not be admitted to the many press functions that have been arranged for your benefit. So please, if you need anything, do not be afraid to ask. Guided tours of the city are available to our guests. We recommend you visit the Victory Arch and the Albert Speer exhibition during your stay. The war ended a long time ago. We're asking that you give us the chance to show you how sincere we are in wanting to bring the Cold War to a close, too. Isn't that what everybody wants? No, no, nothing serious, not really. Two espressos, please. Next time you need to sleep in, count on me. Another busy day in the sexual crimes unit. Who would love it? Your aerial woman under Polak got right in the act. Coffee, please. Uh-huh. A resettlement state for her, ten years hard labor for him. I just don't understand these people. Hey. Every time somebody makes love, somebody else writes a report. Yeah, yeah that's right. Here you are. Some sugar. Yes. Hey, Zali. I've got something in there for everybody. Anytime you are looking for something out of the ordinary, you let me know. Excuse me. Here, I'll capture the moment for you. Great. You will need a permit for the camera, Mr. Elliot. Oh. I can arrange it for you, if you like, through Reich Tourism. All developing and prints are free. Fine, thanks. foaming fluid came out when pressed so he could have drowned but he has also suffered a massive coronary hard to say which came first extensive bruising on the upper part of the body bruising he must have struggled to get out of the water 
Probably in the water less than two hours. Joseph Bühler. Architect of the Jewish Resettlement Program. Admitted to excesses in work camps during the war. In the 1950s, he introduced reforms of the camp system. He was a close friend of Hitler in the 1920s. Connections in every department of the Reich. Forced retirement in 1961. After allegations of improper use of state property. I remember <clears throat> Hitler intervened personally on his behalf. Well, that's great, isn't it? A dead party big shot. Think of the paperwork. Thank you. Joseph Strasser. Xavier March to inspect the Bureau residence. The Fuhrer today issued an invitation to the President of the United States of America to visit the Reich for personal discussions. Thank you.
Sam with your mother. We went to school together. Do you like gymnastics? It is part of my training. How long have you been a cadet? Three months, Major. Is your father proud of you? He is a founding member of the SS, isn't he? We all follow our fathers. We try as best we can. I've read your statement about the incident. You've been very helpful. Relax. One thing, you couldn't have seen the body from where you said you were, I checked. So I was wondering, what did you see? What made you stop? A car. Three men. Nothing else? No, nothing. What are you afraid of? Did you recognize someone? Tell me. You'll feel better. At the beginning of term, we had a special guest. He lectured on the organization of police forces in the Reich. I was part of the honor guard. I was this far from him. It was him at the lake. I know it was. So, who was it? It was the general in command of the Gestapo. Lobos. Hitler. Yeah. I'm here to see Herr Stuttgart. You are American? Um, that's right. Are you here on business? Herr Stuttgart? We'll find him on the second floor. Apartment 7. Thanks.
Thank you. Here's to God. Good news. About the Kennedy Hitler meeting. General Nebit wanted to see me. Hello, Major March. General Nebit is expecting you, sir. Please, go straight in. Savi, good. <laughs> this time next year, we could be vacationing on a beach in Miami or California. Not on my salary, General. We need the Americans. Without their cooperation, the war in Russia could go on for years. I thought we were making progress. <laughs> like last year, the year before it, switch it off. That's my eldest grandchild. Very nice boy. How's that boy of yours doing? He's doing very well, thank you. I wish he could live with me. Hmm. You covering the Buller case? Uh, yes, sir. Not anymore. This case has been redesignated a state security matter. Gestapo. You've taken over the investigation. Police inquiry to be closed. Effective immediately. I do have a sighting of General Globus at exactly the location where Bulu's body was found. Sir. Globus? Yes, sir. Really? The head of the Gestapo. Walter Stuckart was found shot dead with a whore this morning. Shh. Stuckart. Party member from the beginning. Wrote the definitive textbooks on the race question. Retired three years ago from the Interior Ministry. I suppose that must be a matter for the Gestapo as well. Not the Stuckart case. Not yet. Why don't you dig just a little further? See if there's a connection between the deaths. Do we have anything? Oh, there's the American who found him, one of the visiting journalists. She had an appointment with him. We're holding her. Talk to her. 
Find out what Globus is up to. Nothing in writing. Report direct to me. Yes, sir. Sorry to keep you waiting. Except for your march. This won't take long. In your statement, it says you wanted to interview Herr Stuckert. Yes. He was a founding member of the party, and my editor wanted his reaction to the Kennedy-Hitler meeting. The Cold War is about to end. Isn't that wonderful? Of course. And that was at 10.45. Very well. Oh, I can go now? Yes? Uh, no, not yet. Follow me, please. So would somebody like to tell me when I get my passport back? When we don't need it anymore. been to Germany before? No, not since I was a little girl. Nice rebuilding job. You're from New York. Zavi saw a lot of New York in the war, didn't you, Zavi? Through a periscope hunting North Atlantic convoys. Yes. Well, the war's over. We're allies now. Sure. But we know how many people died. Your raid on Dresden killed a hundred thousand people. You threatened to drop the atom bomb on Great Britain. You dropped it on Japan twice. Yeah, well, we were fighting for our lives. So were we. Oh! Cute. It's uh, for my son. We go sailing together. Uh -huh. On the lake in the Tierga. Dead, Yost. I want you to pick him up and put him in protective custody. Discreetly? Yes, please. Understood. And if you decide to uh, sleep in, Zavi, I'll cover for you. But the Gestapo have sealed it, Major. I know, but I have to see it. But they gave strict instructions that no one was to be admitted. The key, please. Excuse me. Herr Stuckart, live alone. Herr Stuckart was most discreet, but never lonely. This way. And he lived here long? As long as I've been the night porter. Nine years. Who's out during the day? Nobody. Heil Hitler. That wasn't the man who let me in this morning. You didn't mention a man in your statement. I didn't think anything of it. I thought he was the porter. Why have you brought me here? He wants to have a word with you. Oh, he brought me all the way here just to have a word with me. In private. <sighs> you lied to me at the station. Why? I did not lie to you at the station. Why did you want to see this man? I told you I wanted to interview him about the Hitler Kennedy meeting, and it's all in my statement. You came here at 10.45. The meeting was announced at 11.30 at a press conference. You couldn't have known about it.
have to get out. Get out. Take the stairs. Quickly. Please, mind your 